everybody happy halloween um okay tonight i have a goodwill doll haul and her hair is really messed up um i found two really old vintage dolls one's from the philippines and one's from taiwan they're both um late 60s and vintage clothing and she's got a painted on bra and undies um and i've got this bag of doll naked dolls um that was like 3.99 which is really rare to find a bag of dolls so i'm gonna go ahead and show the older girls first um it was philippines yeah i said philippines and taiwan i think my boyfriend said that her backside had 68 or 67 or something like that posted um printed on it and she's in perfect condition oh i got these both of these dolls for a dollar by the way because they had no prices plus i go to this goodwill like all the time i've been going to this goodwill since i was a small child um her hair is perfect it's still in a ponytail apparently they they had to have come from an adult collector because they smell good they're not sticky or anything there's no bites or tears or, you know, usually the vinyl's like all bit up like if a dog got a hold of them. This dress is old and vintage. There's no stains on it. It's got the snaps. So she's in perfect condition. I mean, for a dollar, come on. Here's her face. And I'm going to check her backside to see if this is one that came from the Philippines. Let me see, where did she come from? It's kind of hard to see in this light. I think. Um. Hmm. Hang on, guys. Kind of hard to see because they stamped everything on their behind back in ye olden days. Wow, really? Um, and I gotta get it to catch the light. She's from Taiwan. And she's got like this nightgown on. So she's really nice. Okay, and this one. Back to holding it. I have another one with a similar face, but her eyes are blue. Um, her hair is in really decent condition. I think this one's a 69. Um, she's got like violet eyes. And she's got the little puffed lip. But see, she's got like the painted bathing suit. Like parts of the paint are coming off. And the little eyebrows. And she has this. This dress I think is also vintage because it's got a button snap thingy on the back and it's really cool i mean it's i was really really lucky to find these two so let me go ahead and open up the bag those were a really really good find. You never find dolls at goodwill for you know that are that good condition and there was a brat's doll that they had but she was missing a shoe and i'm it was jade and i should have got it but I found um, some Afghan blankets that I liked. These dolls are in a fresh keeper, so somebody was keeping them fresh. That's funny, they're in a fresh keeper. Oh my gosh. Let's see who we got in here, you guys. Okay, I'm going to try to just put their faces. Um... This is one from the 80s. Her ring is missing. Quit licking, Choo Choo. Um, twist and turn waist. Her hair is really good condition. It's wrapped in a ponytail. Focus camera, focus camera. Really nice face she's got. She must have been like a holiday or a special Barbie because she's 
got like the diamond what they used for diamond earrings and she has like the ring her ring is missing but she's in perfect condition no mold or anything on the vinyl you know typical 1980s head sculpt it's really nice and this were this whole bag was $3.99 so, who's this one Ugh. She's gonna. Oh, her hand is caught in her hair. Um, she's just a typical Barbie. Yeah, she's gonna have to be wiped down. Um, hmm. Yeah, she's a little. Let's see, she's thinking mid 90s, late 90s, because of the way she's made. Trying to see. It would help if I could actually see. 1999 is what's stamped on her back. Ah, her hair. Um, I come across quite a lot of these. She's just your standard because she doesn't even have underwear. She's got a belly button though. Her legs need to be wiped down. The vinyl is just a little bit sticky. And her hair is kind of... She looks like she's been all naked and afraid or something. Oh, wow. Okay. This chick is completely um, articulated. Well, not completely. Her elbows move. Wow. Her nails are painted. I don't think... Her fingernails, her fingernails are painted. Her knees bend. Wow, she's kind of strange, actually. Hang on. Um, she's got pink earrings. Okay, she's got like pink streak in her hair here. Come on, camera, focus. Where's her earrings? I like her closed mouth. See how her. I don't know if this is an actual Barbie. Check out her knees. She's got like these big flat feet. I don't know. Can you see her painted nails? I can see them through the camera, but whenever it goes, um, actually get, you know, where this actually uploads it, I doubt you guys can see it. Um, but her, she's hard plastic. She's got like a swivel waist and twist and turn. Um, I don't know if she's actually Mattel, but she looks like Barbie. She's a 1993. Yeah, she's a Barbie Mattel. She's made in Malaysia. Anybody knows who this Barbie is supposed to be or what she's supposed to do? Can you guys let me know? I really like how her lips are lined and she's got like a closed mouth. And I think it's funny that her nails are painted. I don't know if she's supposed to have like painted nails or... Somebody just like colored them in because they did do a pretty decent job. They didn't mess them up. And her hair has not been cut. Her hair's got like the pink highlights all the way through. So she's a pretty unique looking doll. She's a nice looking doll. Okay. That's two. So I got four. Oh god, this one talks. Or was supposed to. Eh? Oh god, it's creepy. And its batteries are broken. Oh, this one's in rough shape. I don't know who this was supposed to be, but it's it's totally creeping me out, you guys. Um, she might need a battery. Hang on. Dude, just, just creepy. Look at this face. What the heck is this? <laughs> who is this supposed to be? Is this like a Mary-Kate Nashley doll whose hair has been chopped? It, did they even have those? The hair has been butchered. It's supposed to, like talk or sing or something because it's got like a speaker here yeah this is creepy um i'm gonna have to get my boyfriend to take the battery off of it um hmm uh-oh Dogs are barking. I wonder if my mom's coming over. 
Wow. Okay. Whoa, her face is weird. She's got teeth. I'm just gonna um, I'm gonna try to sell this dog doll, but she's got like teeth and like bone structure. But it's freakish. She has like individual teeth. It's really weird. I have no idea who this doll is. It's it's creepy in a way. Okay, there's one more. They couldn't all be winners, you guys. They could not be winners. Um, the one with the pink hair. Okay, this one has earrings. Um, this one's in good condition, too. She just needs a new ponytail. Oh my god, really? Yeah, she's... She's a nice one. She's in good shape. She's in good shape. She's got a little pink earrings and just a plain typical Barbie face. And she's wearing the white undies. Um, you know, good condition. No mold or anything like that. So yeah, um, her hair just needs a new... She just needs a new ponytail. Not a big deal. And alright. So that is going to pretty much wrap this up. But let me go ahead and show you these one more time. Um, so I got all of these. It was three ninety nine for five dollars. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dolls for five bucks. That's awesome. That's the best I think I've ever done at, especially at a Goodwill. Um, this sounds creepy. If anybody knows who this is supposed to be, like if she's supposed to be some kind of celebrity, um, please let me know. I can just fix her up. I'm probably going to fix her up and sell her because her open tooth mouth face is creeping me out. And I'm going to have to fix her head. She's weird. Um, and she's real stiff. Anyway. All right, guys. Remember, um, yeah, happy Halloween, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.